We are in an absolute crisis in the media sector across the world. Journalists are in terrible conditions in many, many countries. Countries that are trying to hold on to democracy are doing so by the skin of their teeth. And, and so this overall effort is actually quite small. As you pointed out, it's 0.3% of the overall development assistance budget. Despite the current climate, which is bad, it does seem as though the donors are pretty solid on, on media development. We also found that the top donors are USA, Germany and Japan. We look at the regions where the money tends to go. Asia and Africa are the, the main regions. We look at the priorities that the donors have. Quite, perhaps a surprising amount actually goes from government to government. Money isn't the only story. And although this report is about money, money doesn't actually buy you policy change. Money doesn't actually necessarily always tally with the biggest changes that are, are needed. There is a strong demand for strong institutions. We're not yet making the case though, I think, for how investing in a strong, free and independent media adds up and contributes back to this governance agenda. There's just a range of issues we look at when we're thinking about the question of independence. It's an ideal. It doesn't exist in many places, but you sense you're funding things that are trying to put out a plurality of voices, objective information, editorial judgments divorced from too many constraints on those decisions.